Howdy ho, Maple Loose, and welcome to a fresh new take on our 250 series. We'll be trying to do this a little more succinctly and a little more quick. So, straight into it. Kali's V Matrix. She is surprisingly simple for a class, having only six boosted skills and not too many super important class skills. Decent Holy Symbol is a fantastic skill straight out the gate, even at level one. This is a fantastic EXP source and a drop rate source. Mandatory in your first slot. Second slot, Erdishower. Invaluable summon on both base spawn and on frenzied spawn. If you're very low funding, you can put this off until later because it doesn't carry as much of a punch as you need it to at lower funding. Skipping over the first skill, into Kali's Trios. You have six skills that you want to boost twice. Any combination of these six skills is okay. You just need Void Rush, Arts Flurry, Void Blitz, and Death Blossom, Hex Chakram, and Resonate. That'll cover all of your skills for both bossing and mobbing, and subsequently you also use all of your skills in bossing and mobbing. For Kali's specific fifth job skills, the only one you need to focus on realistically for levels is Ultimatum, and this is more so for Frenzied Spawn than Base Spawn. However, this is also one of the more important skills, so you want to boost it anyways. But this empowers your Chakris a lot, and on Frenzied Spawn, you need them to one-shot to actually get good rates. So this is priority number one for your skills. The rest of Kali's skills are more so bossing focused, although Astra can be helpful for mobbing. Pandemonium is the next most important as it's a low cooldown burst ability. This is kind of your off burst together with Death Blossom. Then there's Arts Astra. Fantastic skill because it's purely passive. We need more of these. It's just great. 14 seconds, drops down a bunch of chakrams. Fantastic for helping your mobbing rates. Fantastic for helping your bossing damage. 10 out of 10. And then the least important of the Kali V skills is Void Burst. Unless you're focusing solely as a bossing mule, this is the last one you want to level. On Frenzied Spawn, it has some niche uses for mobbing. On Base Spawn, absolutely no value. True Arachnid Reflection, once you get to 235, complete the Aspera storyline. You'll get this. It's a decent summon. Kali doesn't have good 100% uptime summons in her kit so you need all the help you can get. And of course, decent sharp eyes. Crit rate, crit damage, fantastic. You can also throw on decent speed infusion if you're training on attack speed zero with Monster Park Green Pot. Rest of the slots, you can just throw in a specialty node for EXP and whatever other skills you need to help burst elites. Arrogant. 
I won't miss! Unstoppable! Take this! Rage! I won't miss! Despair! Rage!
might! This is your last breath! Poor Kali's bossing. It's a, uh, very hectic affair, to be honest. <laughs> You'll see in this run, she has a very natural flow to her with the two-second cooldown hat. It's kind of a one, two, three, hex skill. One, two, three, hex skill, with Void Blitz going right before the hex skills to summon your Chakris. Her full burst damage is quite substantial. It's uh, not quite on like Nightwalker or Night Lord levels of burst, but it is still pretty good. I do hate that the Flora classes still have a 200 second cooldown as part of their burst, but hey, maybe that'll uh, maybe that'll get fixed in the future. Her off burst is quite good with your Death Blossom plus your Pandemonium. The damage is quite good, and since Death Blossom summons an ass load of Chakris, you're getting a bunch of extra damage from those as well. Kali's off burst is surprisingly consistent, although a bit restrictive. Like I said, you want to do like 1, 2, 3, then Blitz, and the Hex skill. So that's your optimal damage output. Ideally, you want to be using Fury or Split to get the most damage, which is why you want to have a cooldown skip in her in a cooldown hat so you get those the most often, and then in a pinch you'll use sweep. Although for a lot of bosses and in a lot of situations, sweep can be more of a liability than it is of benefit to you, because it forces you backwards with its animation, although it can be cancelled with a void blitz or a void rush downwards, Sometimes that doesn't really work out in your favor, especially if bosses have reverse as a status effect. You can just be void rushing yourself to the moon. <laughs> Overall, I quite like it. I really, really like it. I'm not the biggest fan of cooldown skip when it comes to bossing. I really don't like the RNG aspect that it brings to Kali's bossing, but it doesn't feel like Kali is super reliant on the cooldown skip. It's more so a little bit of a benefit. There are times where if you don't get any cooldown skips, you're not going to have a hex skill to follow up with your void blitz. In those times, you do do a little less damage, but it's not that terrible. You just keep using your basic attack skill and just wait for your next void blitz and then you repeat the cycle. Fury is a really nice chakram skill. It is your strongest ability and it hits multiple times, similar to like Dual Blade's fifth job skills where it hits multiple times per cast. Although, because it attacks multiple times, it does delay Kali quite a bit. It holds you in place for the whole animation. But, Void Blitz and Void Rush fully animation cancel it. So in a pinch, if you need to move, say for like that dragon I totally didn't see, <laughs> you can just straight up cancel out of it and just dash away to safety. It's really, really nice. Also, uh, ignore that I didn't use my iframe for my very first death. I remembered what key it was on for this one. <laughs> but overall, I quite like Kali. She's not nearly as straightforward as Nightwalker is for bossing. So I don't think I'm gonna have the easiest time getting her down for like actual super hard bossing. But for the weeklies I'm up through, and I should be just barely strong enough now to start doing normal lucid and will with my actual damage gear. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this class. <laughs> she's uh she's very respectable in the damage departments. It's definitely not like top of the list. She's very middle of the road. There are parts of bossing where she excels, like Dojo for instance. Kali is an absolute beast when it comes to Dojo. She has so much consistent damage output with your, your hex skills and your chakris 
that are on low cooldowns that are up pretty much always, and she has a nice chonky full burst to actually punch through some of the bigger bosses. Dude, I can't, I can't help but recommend Kali. This class is fantastic. She is a class that hardcore, hardcore struggles with frenzied spawn. She's really good on base spawn, and her mobbing is quite good, although some rotations can get very sweaty with your dashing. <laughs> but mobbing's only half the game, right? I really do enjoy Kali's bossing. It reminds me a lot of Dual Blade, just a bit more steps to get your damage out. Is it for everyone? Definitely not. Are the visuals a bit intrusive? Absolutely. <laughs> Astra has a has a big problem with fully obscuring bosses, even on very, very low transparency settings. But Kali is great. I highly recommend 